Hey guys, Andre here from PSD Box, and in this video I will talk a bit about stock images. Um, in the past I made a video showing you how I get uh, free stock images from websites like DeviantArt or Stock Exchange, but uh, in this video I will talk a bit about uh, professional stock images. Um, you know I've been using a lot of images from deposit photos, especially for the premium tutorials, and uh, that's better for me, especially for copyright problems that you may have using free stock images because most uh, people people from uh, DeviantArt don't allow don't allow you to use um, their images, their stock images for uh, commercial projects and uh, on deposit photos you, you can do that um, and I use it because it's the cheapest one. <laughs> so what I want to show you today is the extension that they created uh, which allows you to um, browse uh, through their images uh, database without leaving Photoshop and that's really uh, useful for me because as I said I have a lot of um, I use a lot of images from their website and uh, well this is the page where you can download this extension you can download this extension for free you don't you don't even need a, a deposit photos account to use it or to install it and uh, if you click download now you will download a small file I'll do it again I already have it downloaded but uh, anyway so you download this file and when you open it, it will automatically launch the Adobe Extensions Manager. So just click accept. The extension you're about to install conflicts. Well, anyway, uh, make sure you close Photoshop before you do this. I will not install it because I already have it there. So it's really easy. Just click yes, install, and you'll have it here. Okay. And it works for Illustrator or for InDesign. I will use it in Photoshop because uh, I use Photoshop a lot quite more often so I'll open Photoshop and once you install that uh, you go here to window choose extensions but you have to create a new document first let's create a new document and let's change the mode to RGB okay so uh, once you have the new document created go to window extensions and you'll find deposit photos here I already have it here on the secondary doc what this thing does here is give you it gives you access to all the images that you have on deposit photos without leaving Photoshop. So for example, if I'm working on a flyer and I'm looking for for a party or for a girl, and let's type party girl. And you can see if you you find the same images that you would find uh, on their website. So it's really a good way to and it's a lot quicker uh, to find uh, stock images. Uh, what you uh, see here, you can um, you can filter. This is like a quick filter. So if you don't want to show vector images, you can click that and uncheck it. And here on the view options, what you can do is choose what information you want to see here on these thumbnails. Uh, um, the title, um, maybe you don't want to have the title, but uh, well, uh, the file ID is really important because this allows you to track the image. So if you ha if you know the ID of a file, you can put it here on the search box. And you can find that image that image right away, or you can also find it if you go on their website and um, search that ID. Um, of course, I want to have the maximum size here because I want to know if it fits my project, or maybe it's too small and I don't want that. And the file type uh, this uh, tells you, I guess, if it's a JPEG or well, it's a photo. Oh yeah, they also have videos on deposit photos, but I think this application cannot find uh, videos. I'm not sure. Let's leave that there. The contributor is the name of the author of the file and the views is how many views that image has information that I don't want to have there. So I will leave it like it is. And here on the bottom you have a few links. Uh, but before we get here, let me show you that. Let's say we're working on that flyer that I was talking about and I want to see if this image would fit my project. So all you need to do is just click on it and drag it on Photoshop like that. And what happens is it creates a new layer, it, oh, it sets that as a smart object, see that icon there, so it, you can see the maximum resolution is 5000 pixels, but it, this is just a preview just to see if it works and if it fits your project, so you can make it a bit bigger and make a, a, a rough masking just to see, oh well, yeah, that's, that would fit, so I want to buy it, so you can try it before you buy the image, in other words. and. You can see that the name of the file of the layer is automatically changed to the ID of that file, which is really, really useful. Okay, and if you decide you want to buy that image, you can do that from here. If you click this button here and uh, 
choose uh, buy image but you need to you need to be logged in to to be able to buy it but you can uh, f you can search for images and you can try them on your on your project before you buy them instead of dragging this image to the project what you can also do is right click on it and choose open in application and you can see it looks like it's bigger in fact it's the same size because this is a smart object so you can uh, make it a bit bigger but uh, for some reason uh, when you drag it to uh, to the to the project it looks like it's smaller so if you open it um, if you choose open in application it looks like it's bigger so if I copy this and put it here you can see it's a lot bigger and it looks like it's a better quality so uh, choose open in application instead it depends okay so um, what uh, another thing that this this uh, extension does is when you install it it creates a new folder inside the documents called deposit photos and inside of this folder you find two others the purchased folder uh, which uh, which will contain all the images that you purchased from deposit photos if you already had an account um, on their website they'll, the photos that you already purchased will start to sync these are all the images that I purchased but you can see that not all of them um, are downloaded yet so you can see the the IDs of these files so uh, they will start to sing and they will start to download to your computer and this one this other one is the comps or the previews so this is the previews the preview that we just uh, that we just looked at a, a moment ago so all the those previews that uh, you download to Photoshop they will be stored in this uh, folder so make sure you don't delete this folder because uh, maybe you will not be able to open the photos so uh, it's um, it's a lot quicker to have them there because you don't need an internet if you lose your internet connection you can still be able to to open them um, here on the bottom uh, as I was saying you have a few icons you can browse the categories that you have on the website so you can find animals for example if you double click you will only find images of animals okay and uh, well um, that's what you can do with this uh, with this menu. Then you also have all the light boxes that you created on their website. L the light boxes is just like um, a quick folder that you create, uh, for example, for a project. Or um, what I will do is um, create light boxes, uh, for example, just to have model photos. And uh, while you're browsing, you can put images there and then come back. So you can right click and choose. Um, well, you need to be logged in enabled in order to to be able to add images to the light boxes. So what I will do now is sign in. So I will sign in with my account. Um, I will give you a discount coupon which uh, will give you a 10% discount if you wanna try this, if you wanna buy a few credits. I will sign in with my account so you can see how it looks like. Um, okay, if you click this icon you can see how many credits you have available and how many downloads depending uh, if you purchase a subscription or if you purchase a few credits. I have a subscription and I have a few credits left from the last time I purchased credits. So now that I'm logged in I can click here and you can see you have a few more options now. I can add this, uh, I can watch it on the website or I can add it to a light box. I have a few light boxes here. Um, let's add it to the my photos and if I click this you can see all the light boxes that I have let's go to my photos okay so these are all the images that I have on this light box I didn't purchase all of them these are just images that I liked and that I thought I might want to use them in the future okay so I have them all here and uh, if I want to try for example this one I can open it in application and well it takes a while sometimes to to download it but um, you can uh, you can open it and yeah now it works better let's copy that the really nice thing is that you can you have the ID right there on the layer name which is really cool because you can track the image let's paste that there so of course so as you can see I have now the preview here so uh, I can make a really quick masking and see if this would fit my project and I could uh, decide yeah I want to buy it so you can see that uh, you need to be logged in you know, in order to have this buy image option here so if you click buy image uh, you can um, 
you, you get to this window and here you can see how many credits this image costs depending on the size because you have a few, a few sizes here. So I want to buy the, the large version so I could pay 8 credits but I only have 1.5 left. But I have 10 um, downloads available for today so I could choose download using subscription and you can see it starts to, it starts to download and I will open that image in Photoshop. So now I can see, you can see I have the full resolution downloaded and uh, okay, see that? And now I can, uh, if I choose open an application instead of opening that, instead of opening that small preview, uh, it will open the full resolution. So if you already purchased the image, it will open the full resolution instead of the, instead of the preview. So it's, it's really cool because it's, uh, well, it's, uh, it's a lot uh, quicker than going to the website, downloading it. Okay, so it automatically syncs everything. And the, this icon is uh, where you can find all the images that you already purchased. So you don't have to purchase the image every time you want to use it. Uh, once you purchased it once, you can come here and go open. Uh, let me close this. You can just click that and instead of uh, clicking buy image if I do that it will it will warn me that I already purchased this image once and if I want to purchase now license but instead I will choose uh, opening application and it will open the full resolution for me uh, of course I can just drag it here and it, it will do the same it will add it here as a smart object of course uh, if I press control command T you can see it just as at 30 percent of the original size so if I put 100 and lock the aspect ratio this would be the full resolution so it's a lot easier because just click and drag and you have everything here okay so uh, here you can uh, with this icon you can you have the the advanced search so you can search only horizontal images or just vertical images let's choose well let's leave the same there all categories image size let's leave them uh, all and I want to exclude uh, vectors and I want, I want images that are red, for example, I click search and you can see it search only vertical images um, and it shows me only images that have red on them. So the advanced search is really, is really cool because you have everything here. You can filter for um, all the categories that you have here and uh, that's, that's really cool. So if you want to try it, uh, as I said, it's a free extension. It's really cool. It's it makes my my job a lot easier because um, it's a lot faster for me to do it from here than going to the website. And as I said, if you want to try it, I I'll put the coupon code here on the video, so uh, you have a ten percent discount uh, discount if you wanna if you wanna try this. That's all for now. Uh, I hope uh, you'll find this extension useful, and see you next time.